Mr. Jeff, what are you doing? Well, I spilled some strawberry juice on my neck, and so I'm trying to wash it out. It's really hard. You ever try to wash strawberry juice out of wool? Nope, can't say that I have. Got any ideas on what might work to get it washed out? Um, no, it's not really my specialty. It's not? No. So, I think that some things you just can't wash out ever. Just They're just stained forever. You think so? Yeah, I suppose there are some things like that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm, good at, I'm glad that that's not sin, though. Wait, what? Well, sin is, it, it's like a stain that that God made us all, all good and perfect, and, and, and then sin kind of messes that up. It's like a stain that, that ruins the, everything. Yeah, you're kind of right. So how do you wash that out? Well, with water. Water washes away sin? Well, when you combine it with God's Word, yeah. Really? That's powerful stuff. Yeah, yeah, in fact, God used water uh, to wipe out the sin in the whole world once. He did? Yeah. The, the world was so bad that there were only eight people, one family, that believed in God anymore and, and wanted to have anything to do with his love. Wow, that's really bad. Yeah, yeah, and God see, could see that it was not getting any better. And so he said, you know what, we're going to have to start fresh. And so he said, well, I'm going to send water to cover the world. And, um, but he still saved that one family that believed in him. Well, that was nice of him. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what God's grace, his love is all about. We don't deserve it, but he does it for us anyway. Wow, so what happened? Well, that family, God told the dad whose name was Noah, to build an ark. An ark? Yeah, it's, it's a big box, basically. That, um, and in this case, it's a box that floats. Like a boat? Yeah, sort of. And, um, and so they built this ark, and, um, and God saved them and, and the animals on it. And, and so um, it gave the, that family and the whole world a fresh start. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Water is really powerful stuff. It is when you combine it with, with God's word and, and his promise to save. And God does the same thing for us every day. He does? Oh, I don't have any swim flippers. And I certainly don't have a big giant box. Well, no, no, no. God does that for us in baptism. He does? Yeah, in baptism he washes away our sin to give us a fresh start, to make us clean, and and um, and just to take away all of our sin. Wow, that's great. Yeah, it is. Hey, I gotta thank God for that. Good idea. You pray with us, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you, thank you for washing away, for washing away all my sin, all my sin. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow. So, is there some kind of command that would wash away strawberry juice? Mm, no, not that I know of. Darn. Oh, well. So, I have a question for families. Can you think of a problem that wouldn't go away that was solved by God's love and forgiveness? Ooh, that's a good question. Might have to think about that one for a little while. Yeah, but it's a good question. I mean, there's all kinds of problems that happen, and people struggle with them, but what we need is God's forgiveness to take them away. Yeah, yeah, sometimes we just need to remember that, or to, to show it to somebody that needs it. Yeah. And what had to happen to solve that problem? Well, those are some good questions to discuss. Right, and we invite you to discuss those with your family. So if you want to avoid your house being flooded, click that curly share arrow down there. Wait, what? Yeah, see, if we tell them that, that God's going to flood the world if they don't share the video, they'll share it with people. Well, yeah, but that's not true, though. I mean, God wouldn't do that. That was the whole point of the rainbow, is that God promised he wouldn't flood the world again. Well, yeah, if you want to go with the truth. Well, yeah, I kind of do. Well, then, how are you going to get them to share it? I mean, we want other people to see this video too, right? 
Well, I mean, yeah, if it helps people. So, well, how are you going to get people to do that if you don't threaten them? Well, um, we could just say, if you like this video, you can share it with other people using that curly share button down there or whatever works best for you. If you think it's helpful and you think it'll help somebody else, then go ahead. You think people will do that just because it's helpful or because they like it? Well, it's worked for the church for 2,000 years. Well, yeah, that's true. Well, okay, fine, we'll do it your way. So if you like it, share the button. Okay? Okay. Bye! Bye-bye now.